Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. So everybody, let's check in behind the scenes, see what's going on um, around you in love, uh, what's happening out there, whatever spirit wants us to know, right? Anyway, just take what resonates, leave the rest behind, and thank you so much everyone for all of your support, man. Thank you to all of my subscribers, everybody new here, welcome. All right, so Spirit, what messages do you have for my beautiful collective today? Messages for my collective? All right. Ooh, strength. Ooh. Yeah, somebody walked away. Here's the thing. I'm feeling like um, there's somebody here who is very confidently trying to move on okay um honestly you're you're holding your head up high for whoever i'm talking to though you're still thinking about the things that happened to you in the past right how this person in your life they betrayed you they stuck 10 swords in your back they ghosted you just walked away they could have even put you in third parties bragged about you okay they may have even gotten someone pregnant. I saw the Empress card on the bottom of the deck. And I feel like you're, um, you're trying to walk away. Uh, you you want to get out of this energy. High Priestess, you're not speaking. You're being very silent. So you may not be telling anybody about this struggle. I'm kind of seeing somebody struggling with this. Just trying to get over something that happened to you in the past, okay? Because whatever was done to you, you feel humiliated. You feel totally wronged. You feel like you didn't get any justice in this situation. Somebody was supposed to come back in and apologize to you as well, but they've got their back turned. You know, um, I feel like maybe they were, yeah, they're kind of sleeping on this. Whoever this is that wronged you, they know they need to communicate, okay? They know they should make something right. I'm getting the sense that it's been really bothering this person's conscience. You know, they, they've always known they needed to um, go down a different path, just do the right thing. And they, they're thinking about all the heartache and betrayal that they put you through too, yeah, this person, here's the thing, they know they need to bring you justice. I feel like this is somebody who has juggled you with somebody else. Um, you could be a Cancer because they're, they're, they're holding Cancer in their hand and Gemini. You could be dealing with a Libra as well, a Virgo. You could be a Leo, Cancer, Pisces energy. This person's had you trapped and stuck in your head for so long, wondering, are they going to come back? Are they going to give me any kind of um, fairness here? You know, are they going to apologize? I feel like th for someone here, it's really difficult for you to um, find the strength to get out of this energy without ever seeing justice served in this situation. Like, you know, it's appalling to you, I feel. You're appalled because you could never treat somebody the way you were treated. And you don't understand why this person betrayed you and walked all over you, you know? I feel like the person who did this to you, though, they're feeling like a fool now. See, yeah, look, you're trying to get yourself to calmer waters. You've been betrayed and backstabbed so many times. But I feel like with these three swords in front of you, that's that heartache and betrayal um, that you still have to heal from, okay? They sh these three swords here should be behind you in this boat. And I feel like um, you're trying to move on. You're keeping your moves hidden. You're moving on very silently, okay? Using your intuition, gaining your strength. This is all you right here, you know? And now this person that hurt you, they feel like a fool because, I, you know what, yeah, for the betrayal, look at this. They, man, the wounds that this person gave you are so deep, okay? But here's the thing, I, th I feel like with the Wheel of Fortune out here, this is coming to an end. 
I feel like too you're going right into the wheel of fortune so this is you going from the past cycle into a new one okay and blessings are going to start coming for you because you know what the universe has seen everything that you've been through and they know how hard you're working towards moving out of this energy you don't want to feel the pain anymore you don't want to think about this anymore you know what was done to you collective you did not deserve it was completely unfair but here's the thing you're realizing why should you carry that pain with you through your life okay i i feel like this is you felt this way in this situation possibly for some of you for years and you did not deserve this okay but yeah you um you don't want to feel this anymore you want you don't want to think about it anymore you don't you know um, I feel like you've handled this situation with nothing but grace when this person stuck ten swords in your back and betrayed you the way that they did you didn't say anything about it you just took you t like took an L in this situation okay um, you took it you waited you um, waited for answers you waited for clarity you wanted to give them an opportunity to apologize you know when somebody wrongs you like that it, it, it's only fair that they make it right and this person never came back in they continue to keep their back turned they're um, feeling defensive here I, I feel like they um, yeah, they, I, you know, either they tried to project everything onto you or they're just, um, they know that they need to come in and make this right and they did it, okay? They know there's still unfinished business here. Look, Collective, you're moving into a new cycle that's going to bring you blessings. Focus on the new, right? I feel like you're being granted a new beginning new opportunity this could be a new job it could be a new adventure it could be a lot of money coming to you as well this is like a big lump of money okay um and i feel like a new soulmate connection is coming towards you somebody who's going to see eye to eye with you yes look and i feel like to um your stability I, this is to me the queen of pentacles is one of the happiest queens in the deck because she's got her life together because she can take care of pretty much everything on her own she's very stable she's grounded this is where you want to get to is where you're not in your head over this anymore not in your emotions and feeling the pain anymore you want to be grounded you want to be stable you don't want to think about the things that happened to you in the past they're too painful okay and you d you feel like you didn't get your justice what's going to happen i feel like people are turning on this person who hurt you okay um because they are feeling very defensive they may see this person as a backstabber a betrayer right yeah this person is gonna i feel like they're also being told to communicate with you you know you're in this beautiful earth angel energy i feel like there's people in the background you may not know this, but I feel like your name is being vindicated because I'm kind of seeing people going up against this person, okay? They may even be encouraging this person to come forward and reunite with an earth angel. I feel like somebody, um, somebody could have chosen a queen of wands over you. But I feel also like this Queen of Wands, um, there's no love there. I, I'm getting the sense that this masculine is actually hiding how they feel about you to the person that they're with, okay? They're, um, they're feeling very emotional. Maybe they can feel you disconnecting and moving on. Their conscience also is driving them crazy. Um, they know that they need to do something. They need to make it right. I feel like they're they're really starting to feel that now okay intensely and there's other people who are pressuring them as well you know the divine will use other people to help get the work done right to help the um the help them get closer to the goal 
right? So I feel like there's other people in this person's life that um, are calling them out on this. I feel like they're telling them it's time to tell the truth to this Queen of Wands energy. This person doesn't love whoever they chose over you. They want you, but they're not budging, okay? They're being stubborn. Yeah, they want the one that they put out in the cold. People are calling this person out, too, on how they portrayed you. You know, I feel like they wanted people to believe that, um, that you were nothing. They're treating you like they treated you, and they're still treating you like you're nothing. Okay? And people are getting ticked off about it. Uh, these people in the background, they must know you. They must know who you are. They see you as an angel. You know, the collective's an angel. You could be a Sagittarius as well. Yeah, and they're, they're telling this person that you, you're actually the wish fulfillment. They could have a happy life with you. Everything could be, you know, um, life is like a dream. Life is like a dream. That's what I'm hearing. Um, yeah. Yeah, and I feel like uh, you're, you're leaving this person behind. You had a huge cup of love for them. The cup that you're holding in your hand, the way I'm seeing it, that cup there, that's this Ace of Cups here. You always were the blessing. And if this, if this person chose love over whatever else they were choosing, it may even be some kind of sexual relationship between them okay just for lust and passion maybe for money um i feel like uh, if they chose love over th over those superficial things they could have their wishes fulfill fulfilled they could have a happy destiny with you because you're in this empress energy you're attracting new things to you new opportunities okay and i feel like you're taking that cup of love and you're walking off your spread with it. You could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Leo, Sagittarius. Your person could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I'm just feeling them really up in their emotions, okay? They're truly feeling this. Yeah, they're being pressured by other people, I feel, to choose a new path. Choose a new path. They're with this other person, this Queen of Wands, for some reason. I don't know what it is. I feel like it's something lustful, okay? Um, but the love is walking out of their life. You're the love, okay? Yeah, they're being told, um, go and apologize. See, this scares the crap out of this person, though. Because they know how badly they betrayed you. You know, uh, maybe I'm the only reader out here who does this, but I always, see, I always compare the Queen of Swords to the Queen of Cups, right? Totally different energy, okay? The Queen of Cups is very loving, very open, very sweet, kind, caring, until she gets betrayed, right? And she turns into the Queen of Swords. This is somebody who's had a sword stuck in her back just for being loving, okay? And, um, and she wants the truth. She wants her justice. She wants an explanation of why she's been betrayed so badly just for being loving, okay? And I feel like you're in this energy now. So this person, uh, them apologizing to you after betraying you this bad, it makes them feel scared. It scares the crap out of them because they know they don't have a defense for what they did. Okay, there was no good reason for hurting somebody and treating you like a doormat. Okay, and they've got to kind of tuck their tail between their legs and come in and apologize to you. And they, think, they may even think that you hate them. Okay, after everything that they've done, this scares this person. You're actually, though, in star energy. You're, you're um, a very peaceful person, right? 
on a glow up, very intuitive. They may even feel a bit intimidated by you because you are in star energy. You could be in the spotlight. You could be in the public eye. You could be a spiritualist, a spiritual healer, spiritual teacher. So, um, yeah, and you're, you're working your way up the ladder. You're becoming very abundant, very stable. Okay, very grounded, every queen in the deck. This person has every reason to be intimidated by you. And not only are you very powerful in your own right, you know, with the energy that you have here, um, but they hurt you so bad for no good reason. And they've got to come in and kind of grovel. Uh, you know, that's the feeling that I'm getting. They don't, they don't want to be in Page of Cups energy. <laughs> They're really trying um, to be stubborn and not confront this. But this person's getting a lot of pressure. And I feel like they could be getting a lot of karma as well. Because there's unfinished business here. They need to bring you your justice. But yes, you are being vindicated behind the scenes, okay? Yeah, they, I feel like they need to boss up into an emperor. Or maybe this is them being stubborn in emperor energy, you know? And I feel like you may even have somebody new coming towards you. Um, you are, you are like moving straight into all of these blessings and new soulmate connections. So you may actually have an emperor who's coming in to make you a love offer. Okay. And if that happens, this person from your past is going to be super jealous, super enraged, furious, but he, because they're secretly in love with you, right? The one who betrayed you this badly is secretly in love with you. They don't want you with anyone else. But here's the thing. You, I feel like um, you're moving on. To stay in this stagnant energy, it'll be too excruciating for you. So you're looking towards um, new opportunities, new love. All right? And this person coming in, they know they're moving too slow on this. They know they need to come in and talk and make things right. But look at how guarded they are as well. See, they've got every reason to be intimidated by your energy right now. All right? And it's, it's making it hard for this person to come in. But I'm telling you, behind the scenes, oof. People are, people are really giving it to, these, to this person who hurt you. This is, this is a whole group of people going up against your person. Speaking their truth defending your name you know and the truth is hurting this person they're they're having a really difficult time people are going against them they're getting their karma they may be losing their stability they're losing control they're being pressured to be honest and tell the truth and choose a new path they're really going through it over this okay but for good reason you know they caused an injustice and they need to make it right. Yeah, look at all the chaos and conflict on the bottom of the deck, you guys. That's what's going on in their life. Chaos and conflict with a group, uh, their whole, every, but pretty much everybody they know, okay, knows about how they hurt you. You know, I feel like the person that they're with, even though they're trying to pretend they don't care about you, that person knows. You know, whoever they're with instead of you, they know that this person wants you. Yeah, they're being told and pressure to go the distance, come back in and give you the justice you deserve. I feel like spirit has something else in, in mind for you, okay? Um, and this person from your past, they can feel you disconnecting and leaving them behind um, as you release. You're giving up something to the divine, and the divine's going to bless you for that. You're giving up the stagnancy, the heartache, the pain from the past. 
you're giving up the thought of this person coming back in and spirit is blessing you with something new okay i feel like you could you you're going to get something that you manifested they're telling you here just manifest something new and we'll give it to you whatever it is that you want you want the moon mary i'll throw a lasso up and pull it down for you that's from it's a wonderful life um so yeah i feel like they're you're being spiritually led to release this person from your past and all of the pain and the baggage and the hurt that went with this person okay so um yeah and in doing that you're gonna start something new um yeah they're they're guiding you they're guiding you to go from one bad last cycle right very painful very dark energy stepping into something new here and then spirit celebrates you look at all of this ticker tape around you right so yeah that's what you're being led to do you finished a cycle with the crown on your head you passed your you passed judgment you passed all your tests you did everything that the divine has asked you to do all right and i feel like this person from your past wants to come back around but i'm not seeing them broken up with anybody else so and you may know this already. It weighs heavy on your mind, but I'm telling you, you want to walk away from that energy so that you can finally live a happy life. You deserve happiness. So here you are balancing things out, right? Deciding what's for you and what isn't for you. This stagnant energy is no longer for you, okay? So yeah, there's a big change coming because you're releasing you're releasing and um and you're doing really well collective okay so as you go you're releasing whatever wishes like that you had with this person in the past you're moving on you realize the stagnancy is no longer for you okay and if they're still with someone else you don't want to be a part of a third party so yeah this is where your life changes in a big big way and you are about to be blessed and be happy okay Ooh, collective anyway that's what i've got for this reading i do hope this helps i hope it resonates like and subscribe you guys if you like this vibe and until next time everyone take care of you and peace out